Welcome back to Ravenport on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So off the back of the last episode, um, I carried on riding um, Tiberius, my one of my new horses. Oh, that got hooked up. Um, which is now 100% exercised for today, and I bought the harvester over to fill two my soybean field. I'm going to get this done before it gets dark, um, and then I can I will sell this plot of land. Let's see how much we get off this. I've got um, my own field, field 11 and field 8, that I did the cotton um, planting in, have both gone into their first growth stage. So I'm currently doing a um, fertilising contract on field 8. That's the second one I've had on that. Um, I should just get this get on with this that doesn't sound too healthy but anyway um, this is going to take a little while I know I can get the bigger header for this um, the bigger John Deere header will work on this something if I get, make a bit of money at some point um, I'll sell this one trade it in get the larger one um, and this harvester at 26 miles an hour moving it around the map is absolutely fantastic and then obviously at some point as I progress forward hopefully I'll get an even bigger harvester and so on but I, I have got my heart set on a on a larger tractor next I think is going to be the next thing I'm going to aim for possibly my own cedar which means I won't need to borrow cedars for sowing contracts and that kind of thing so I gradually kind of build up I haven't got my own cultivator or anything like that either so maybe a large-ish cultivator but that will come with a bigger tractor I think um, that's what I'm kind of aiming for. So what I'll do now is I'll go and get one of the tractors with the Brentner Power Push Plus trailer. I'm ready to unload this. The yield should be okay off this. Soybeans are always low yielding. The price is normally quite high. I don't know what the price is running at at the moment. On uh, actually, let's have a look. What is the price going f uh, whoops, on soybean at the moment? Uh, not fantastic. Two one two two, port grain elevator two six and falling. Isn't it always the way? Whichever one I want to do, <laughs> it always seems to be the best price wherever it is is dropping. Um, but that said, even if I did it at two two, even at two one two one fifty, that's still a fantastic price. Um, but if I can get a load of it in at two six before it comes down too low. We should be laughing. We should make a nice bit of money off this. And like I say, then sell the plot. I think that was worth 313,000 odd, which will bump the money right back up again. Carry on doing the contracts. And obviously then it will be night time and I might do some of my usual overnight, uh, just hammer through a load of contracts while it's dark. Depends what comes up. Sometimes the contracts aren't, aren't fantastic. So you just kind of pick and choose and sometimes I will just plod through and do a whole load of the smaller ones because it turns the fields and it gets you know keeps the whole thing chugging along um, I'm pretty sure harvest on field four over there will need to be done as well there are a couple of harvests that are paying out quite well unfortunately they are I think potato got one yeah one there and one there the two fields that I made a load of money on planting potato Obviously, that's going to need to be harvested at some point. So, yeah, I might do one of them. You tend to make a little bit on top as well. You know, like the end bit where you've got a bit of crop left over. I suppose the other thing you can do, if you wanted to, is sell it up until it fulfills the contract. Then the potato you've got left, rather than sell it, store it. And then you can use that as seed for the next one. Rather than having to buy loads of seed for potato harvest, you can use potato in the potato planters. So, you could do that. Um, there's all different options available. So, there's a few different contracts here. Another fertilizing one down there for eight grand. That's not a bad one, actually. So, yeah, there's a bit to do. Um, I'll get on with this and uh, I'll see you in a bit. It might even be dark. Um, we'll see what we make off this. Again, just for that kind of transparency, I don't want it to be suddenly morning. I start the next day and I've got a ton of money and you don't know where it's come from. You know, it's that kind of just making sure it's all above board, I think. Anyway, 
I need to go and get this uh, tractor and trailer so we can unload this. Field 2 is cleared. I have taken on a couple of fertilising contracts which are now done, so that's now saying 191 or just under. I've taken on potato harvest on field something, my mind's gone blank. Um, field, 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 field. 13, um, which will pay out quite well, although it's going to take a very long time because each strip I'm doing is filling the harvester. So unfortunately that's not one I can, I can just leave to get on with it. Um, so I'm going to sell this, see what we make, and then it'll be a case of, why does that come up, there we go, right, I reckon about 60 grand if we're lucky. Sixty-six four nine three. That's not bad for a harvest. Okay, so we're up to 258, which is kind of where we wanted to be. I say, <laughs> that's good. I didn't say it's where we wanted to be. We wanted to be in, you know, in a good financial state, and that's where we are. So next step then is we go to here, we go to field do, and that's going to be purchased by whoever purchases it. Um, so, oh, 315, not 313. That's even better. And there we go. You cannot sell this land while you still own placeable objects on it. <gasps> oh, yeah. Of course, down on the beach. How could I have forgotten that? Um, so I need to go to this menu. This menu. Scroll all the way across. Oh, I've got to destroy my sandcastle. <laughs> I forgot about the sandcastle. $99. Oh, okay then. Well, let's sell the land, the, the sand castle, the land castle. Um, and then we go back to that menu. Click on that and that and sell. There we go. That's better. So whoever's bought that has now got a nice new plot of land. It rotates around. Um, and it's one thing actually, um, um, when you click on these, I know if you do a contract on them, it says what farmer owns them. But when you click on each plot to buy it, like that, it doesn't give you a farmer's name. So I know when people are getting kind of cross and saying, why would a farmer sell their land, then buy it back off you? There's no farmer name attached to it at this point. I know for the contracts there are, but, you know, 
Oh, I don't know. Regardless. So we're up to 574,000. Not bad. I've got a contract on the go at the moment for about 35. Um, which, that's going to take us above 600,000. And I'm probably going to continue doing a few contracts through the night. So hopefully by the morning, we're going to be... Oh, I don't know. Estimate, I reckon, up around 700 by the morning. That's certainly going to give us a few options. It will certainly give me an option for a larger tractor. And probably some other stuff too. Maybe some more cows. Who knows? Or maybe the chickens. I know it's about doing chickens, isn't it? Maybe a little plot of land. Maybe the, the plot next to it. Field 20, I think, maybe. Well, that was 200 and something thousand. And it just seems a bit of a, a, bit of a waste, really, if I'm just going to use it for plonking objects onto. Anyway... Uh, I'm going to put this back and I think I'm going to get a couple of things of fertiliser uh, to fill up the fertiliser spreader so if any more fertilising contracts come up oh I need to fertilise my own field don't I field 11 because that's going to the next grow stage so that needs to be fertilised and that will be done then 100% fertilised that's ready to go um, so that will be the next step I think off screen but I wouldn't be surprised if the potato harvester is full again and it will need unloading so I will see you in the morning somewhat richer than I am now exciting times there you go that's a full grain tank almost like I knew what was going on still stop piling seed as I'm using it and buying more just keep piling it up It's nearly quarter past seven in the morning and a lot has changed. Um, the potato harvest took me hours. <laughs> it took me quite a long time, I'll be honest. And it only paid, in, say only, in the end it paid 30 something. I've already shown it, you've seen it. Um, I've done a couple of other contracts. I was very fortuitous in that um, field four, which I'm about to go and seed now, um, had um, oats in it which I showed in the previous episode and I said they needed oats for the horses well the harvest came up for that the harvest contract so I did the harvest contract on it and at the end of the contract when I completed what I decided to do was rather than just let the trailer continue to empty as soon as it popped up with contract complete I stopped it so now I've got how much have I got Seven, no 16,000 litres of oats in the railroad silo because I don't have a silo at the farm um, so I've got oats for the horses so I fed the horses and I've got some in storage so that was a bit of luck actually that kind of worked in my favour it meant I didn't have to buy a field or do anything with it I was already doing the contract on it and that was the surplus I could have made some money on that but I just thought you know what might as well just do that now field four I've just taken the contract on this is borrowed equipment from the farmer and they want soybean in this so I'm going to set a worker off on this and we're going to head back over to the farm I'm going to show you the changes that have been made overnight I'm up to 607,000 and I said I was hoping I was going to be up around 700 I was up around 700 and I'll explain that in a minute this shouldn't actually take too long this contract it's quite a large cedar the Amazon condor so yeah it's a wider one isn't it so it should be alright be interesting to see though What's that? It's an Optum, isn't it? I think it's an Optum. Yeah. Whether that's got enough grunt to get up the hill? Should have. Should be fine. It will start to slow down. I'm just conscious of worker fees really eating into... Uh... If it carries on at 8 miles now, that'll be fine. Right, so I'll jump out. Let the worker get on with that and head back over to the farm and I'll explain what's going on over there 
all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so I did a few contracts overnight. Uh, we made a bit of money. We didn't do too bad, in all honesty. Um, busy, 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 and all that. So what I thought I would do, first of all, is come back via the store. Um, oh, there was a wait. I missed that. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's getting on all right without it. Um, right, I did overnight. Like I say, I was over 700,000, and here's why I'm not now. Um, I bought the larger header. I sold the smaller uh, John Deere header, and I've gone for the 645FD, the monster. 3.7 metre, is it? And this, the Elmer's trailer, the new modded Elmer's trailer, works perfectly for it, so it's brilliant. Um, that really did help with the harvest. Now, down to the farm... Um, what else did I do? Oh, I filled up the fertiliser spreader. That's got just under 9,000 litres on it now because I did a contract a little while ago and filled six. Um, but I thought, well, I've got the money, fill it up, then, it, you know, I haven't got to worry for a little while. Um, so, right, down to the farm. And a fair bit has changed down there. Ha <laughs> ha! And I've got a bit of work to do now. So, past the building site. And what you can probably see just up on the hill there with the hazy morning sunlight just passing it we've got a hayloft i said i wanted to get a hayloft and put hay and straw in um which meant i did a bit of landscaping i leveled the ground out across here which gave me quite a steep ridge which i've kind of smoothed out a little bit i've done a little bit of work on it nothing major just a little bit of tidying here and there um, so we've now got a hayloft, that was 90,000. Um, now, Gaz and a few other people messaged me to say, um, and I know, um, obviously, DJ Goham did a video a while back on this, that the, the silos, the farm silos, now take straw um, and hay. And I completely forgot about that. I did all of this, saved it, and I got a message from Gaz literally 20 minutes after I did all of this um, showing me a couple of pictures and I'd completely forgotten now this cost me 90,000 and it will do the, the hay and straw but if we look into um, under silos I could have got the grain silo which is a hundred thousand litre capacity which would have if they if it does take straw and hay I could have done other crops as well which meant I could have stored the oats in it here that said Whoops, wrong one. That said, I can put 250,000 litres of hay and straw into the hayloft. So I kind of went down that route. It made more sense. So we now have a hayloft. Uh, I've done a little bit of kind of landscaping around. The deck chairs went in the other day. I just completely forgot to show you that. So that's my kind of, if I can, if I want to skip the night, I can. Um, what else? Uh, I did a little bit of smoothing here and there. I had a little bit of kind of gravelly, sandy, this, what I've been using already, up around the horse paddock. And around the back, like I said I was going to do, I put a little bit of rock in, a bit of rock texture around that back bit, because it was looking a little bit kind of, it just looked like the ground had, well, it is exactly what had happened. The ground had been changed level, so you had grass sticking out of it and all sorts of stuff. So I put a bit of rock across the back. Again, it's, it needs... It takes a lot of practice of fiddling around and getting it just right. But anyway, that's all good. Um, that should be shut. Both horses were exercised yesterday. And as far as the horse name goes, I have a horse name now. For the Pinto. I'm calling it Mr. Bean. That was from Ben. <laughs> as in Pinto Bean. Like Pinto Beans? Anyway. You may like it, you may not. Anyway, I've got a few on my shortlist, and I'm going to get another horse. Here's my theory with my horses. Because it's going to take nine or ten days to get them to full price, what they're, what they're going to give me the maximum. Um, if I buy a new horse every day, so each new day buy a new horse, that will then go through the cycle. By the time I get to selling one or both of these, I'll sell one, but then I buy one, which means technically every day after that I could make 50,000 on selling a horse if I just buy a new one each day. So they'll roll over. So as I sell one, there'll be a new one coming in and, and it should work out that I could then make 50 grand a day just on selling a horse. Now these have already made me money. 
they cost me 5,000 each to buy and if I have a look in here not in here in here and go down to horses they're worth 7,926 already so they've gone up three grand in price already so if I wanted to sell them now I've made three grand on each horse that's not bad for overnight three grand per horse I'm gonna keep them longer obviously um, now they do need exercise in both today which I'll get on to at a later date probably off screen I don't know I'm not too sure maybe um, but like I say I'm gonna buy another one I'm um, also gonna buy a, a new tractor today I said I was gonna get a bigger tractor I'm gonna be doing that um, but first I'm gonna be putting all my straw and hay that I've got into the hayloft to tidy all this area up um, and then we'll go from there so what I'm going to do jump in the telehandler and the bales what I'm going to do is put into the um, uh, feed mixer wagon so they'll they'll shred down into loose and then what I'll do is then tip that into the uh, into the hayloft should have got both of them there. I have put two in here already. I'll do the same with the hay bales, shred all of those, put those in, and then I'll collect all the loose straw I've got, um, and then it kind of tidies up the area, gets them all out of the way, and into the hayloft, which is kind of what I was hoping to do a while back, I just didn't uh, get around to it. So, what I should do now, and I, I know this is, it doesn't look right, but here's what it is, it does the job. He says, if he ever actually hooks up to it. There we go. And I think I've still got it on the tip side left. So what should happen now is if I come to here, there we go, start overloading the straws in there, that will now go into storage and it's not left out in the elements. I really could do with a bigger, um, a bigger bucket. We need to, you know, I know on 17 it was like, you know, every week a mod would come out and there'd be more weights and more buckets and people would say oh why we don't need more buckets we don't need more weights we really do need a bigger bucket because <laughs> even the wheel loader buckets aren't that big on this i think i got so used to using the universal lightweight back buckets the one by um toxic on that um which was what eleven thousand liters something like that that just made life so much easier um but anyway so i'm going to keep doing this then get these out of the way tidy this whole area up um, by then I should be a good chunk of the way through that contract on the sewing on field four and then I think before the end of the episode we'll get ourselves a new tractor oh yes we will um, both fields eight and eleven um, eleven's got my cotton in eight's got whichever farmer it is their cotton in um, are on their last growth stage so they're going to be ready to harvest soon so I didn't mind buying the hay loft and doing the landscaping and all the stuff I've done and I don't mind buying a big tractor or how much I spend on it really because I know on that cotton harvest I'm going to make a big chunk of money back again anyway which will then help me for whatever purchase I'm going to do next I do want to buy a cedar or sewing machine, a planter probably a cedar over a planter first I think um, and I think I might, I think I might lease a loading wagon. Not sure. But I had a kind of a mental list of things that I definitely wanted to get and make sure I got as I expand the farm. Um, I put the hayloft at the front and not at the back because I said about putting chickens maybe at the back. Um, so I thought I would do that. And it's probably not. As I go through doing let's plays, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to find myself getting more used to where to place things in so much as you will make your own farm more efficient in where you place things now most farms obviously they grow up over time um, and a farm might start off as a small farmstead and over years decades things will get added and barns and whatever so a lot of farms are kind of a little bit higgledy piggledy and you have things all over the place some farms are purpose-built and realistically being able to do this yourself means that you can make it more efficient so you're not having to cart stuff because at the moment I've got my hay and my straw at the front here but I've got my silage at the back and my bunker silos over there 
had I put these next to each other for making things like Total Mix Ration, that would be far easier. So I think longer term on, on more Let's Plays, as we kind of move forward through the game, that's going to become a lot more relevant, I think, how and where I place stuff. Um, not that it bothers me driving around the farm, I'm not really fussed at all. But I know people will watch and go, well, you know, it's not efficient and you could have done this, could have done that, but I really don't care. It's all good fun, it's all about playing the game and driving around my farmyard is what I need to do. And that's what I'll do. Anyway, that being said, you don't want to watch me just continually doing this. I'll get this done off screen. And then, uh, I think I've missed a bale there, haven't I? Yeah. No, don't put the whole lot down. No, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'll see you uh, when this is all done. Back at the store, and the sewing contract on field four is done. I just unloaded the Amazon Condor. It would appear that some cedars are fine; it will unload, and some won't. Don't know why. Um, and it put them there, rather than. I did line it up with these, but it didn't seem to want to know. One of those is full. One of those has got about eight thousand liters in something like that. Um, so that's done. I'll take the payment for that uh, contract complete. Collect. Fantastic. Oh, another big fertilising job on oh, field four. 20 grand. Uh, I'm probably going to take that one. So I'll accept that contract straight off the bat, and I'll get on that in a minute. But the time has come something larger. So that one's 175 horsepower. That one's 200 and something. Oh, I should know the horsepower of my own vehicle, shouldn't I? Uh, that's least. I want to go to owned. So that one's 261. That one's 175. Okay, so we want to go bigger. Mm-hmm. Large tractors. Now, here's the thing. It's probably going to be controversial, and I'll probably get a load of stick. It doesn't matter. Um, I did say about getting a Deutz far. If I do that one as high as that will go, it will go to 336 horsepower which is great. It's not a huge amount more than the 7250, in all honesty. So I thought bigger, um, and bigger, and bigger. Now, here's the thing I really desperately wanted to buy, and I really love them. I think it's brilliant. A Fast Track 8330. Um, but 348 horsepower is the maximum. So that's not, again, it's not much more than 336 on the Deutzfahr. Um, which I'm gutted about. I wish you could adjust the horsepower on it. I don't know why you can't. Um, so I'm going to use something I haven't used before. And that's what I try to do in my Let's Plays. I'll use vehicles I like. I'll use vehicles I haven't used for a while. But since it's a new game and there are new vehicles... Now the Fent 1000, Vario, there was the modded version out in 17. I don't want to go tracked just yet. I don't want to go that big just yet. I'm going to go for an 8R. I just am. Um, and the good thing about this is I'm going to put Michelin's on it because they look epic. Um, and I'm going to go with... Should we go with wides or just go with standards to start off with? That looks, that says standard, but that looks like it's got wheel weights on it to me. Wide tyres, twins. Oh, does it have wheel weights on it all the time? Apparently so. Oh, that's interesting. Twins. I did think about going case magnum actually with the twin narrows. Um, but uh, so here's the reason why. If I go to actually, I don't want twins on it, do I? Um, let's go with oh, I'll go with wides. Um, so engine size 290 off straight out the out, out of the packet, um, 342, then 394, which is already higher than the other ones were. But this will go up to 450 horsepower. That's rather impressive. Now, that's an extra 80 grand for an 8400. It's a big chunk of change, but I'm doing it. 384,000. Now, here's the thing 
again i could have could have could have could have i could have um gone with a big bud i could have gone with a big bud and it would have been a lot cheaper for a 500 horsepower um but again i've used the big buds before i wanted to use something different well that's a lot of the money gone um we're down to 241,000. so but we do have a new tractor 450 horsepower bit of a beastie i like it i mean at the end of the day um some of the other ones once you get into the tracked ones as well you don't have front three point linkage which i sometimes find can be a bit of a not a hindrance but i like having a front three point um which obviously the big buds don't either so you know yeah yeah good good happy with that uh now i've just taken on a fertilizing contract there is a sewing contract available um and i do want to buy a new cedar as well so i can do sewing contracts myself that said the potato ones wouldn't make a lot of difference and there are the cedars and planters which one would i buy um i don't know in all honesty but what i'm going to do oh, it's big isn't it it's big it sounds nice Mr. Silipi's farming services ser services services is expanding. It really is expanding. When you think I started on this forecourt with like one tractor and a trailer, and then we've got all that stuff down at the farm. We've got horses. We've got cows. We've got a hayloft. We've got um, you know just the big. Uh, I can't even remember words. Words have gone. They've fallen out of my head. They don't exist anymore. Words. Ah. header was the word I was looking for <laughs> the larger header we've got a slightly bigger trailer oh, I'm just going to take this for a drive I don't care wow it is very cool I'm liking it actually we'll have to go and have a look actually at field 8 and field 11 like I say, they're not going to be far off done uh, as far as harvesting goes. 241,000 still in the bank, having bought a hayloft and done all that landscaping and all that stuff. And a nice big old tractor as well. So it's been well worth it. And then within the next few hours, I would say probably before lunchtime, the um, cotton's going to be ready in field 8 and our own field 11. So win win. I'll get on that again. Um, and we'll make a big chunk of money. We'll back up again, and then it'll be, I think, cultivator and cedar. I do want to get. I, I need hay. That's something I do need. Having put all the stuff away at the farm, actually, you know what I should have done. That's what I'm going to do. Let's turn around. Just go on a jaunt around the countryside. Let's head down to the farm. I've tidied it all up. Um, and I've got a lot of straw and I did more straw because I thought I do need it for bedding as well however I do need a lot of straw because of the mix I do for total mix ration um, and I've been saying it for ages and I need to do more hay and I just haven't done any so uh, I think yeah it might need to be a bank loan maybe field 9 possibly field 9 I might could just do field 20 next to where I am I've done that a lot or field 1 I haven't done field 1 have I I do field 1 maybe turn that into hay lease a loading wagon and then um, get a load of hay made I think we're bouncing around in the cab somewhat here so as it transpired all it really needed from those first few episodes was just time just needs to chuck a load of hours at it play a load more do a load of contracts make a load of money and that's what it needs just time I do need to check actually and see how many hours I've played I'm not too sure Whoa, that's a big bump up there probably need another barn at some point too mind you I haven't got anything installed in that shelter yet have I
so it's all tidy hay bales have gone from there straw bales have gone from there and the big pile of straw has gone from there and one thing i forgot to do when i said about doing it was naming the horse i didn't name the horse and i've done the wrong menu again so let's go down to daily riding rename it is not question mark i do appreciate everybody's comments and there are going to be more horses so if you've already commented um I, i'm making a list of the ones i really like and um there we go mr bean it is well done ben <laughs> immortalized forever um well until i sell it anyway yeah i'm not going to tell you some of the others yet because i might use some um and that i think is it it's been an, another busy one this might be a slightly shorter episode i'm thinking when it comes to editing we'll see but we have come to the end of this one um i hope you've enjoyed it the farm is expanding we're doing all right we seem to have suddenly had a rapid expansion which is exactly what we needed i'm learning a lot about the landscaping and how to change things um but anyway if you have enjoyed this please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>